continue with our conversation, uh, of course, uh, about uh, uh, Prince Mangosu Tubtelezi and his legacy and his impact on South African politics. I'm joined by Ndileka Mandela. Uh, she is the granddaughter to Uta to Nelson Mandela. Uh, Mam Ndileka, thank you so much for your patience and for waiting for us. Um, you know, firstly, uh, you know, as a little girl, as you saw the interactions between uh, Ushenge and um, Udata, how were they to you, um, especially together? Because a lot of the description, even from, uh, you know, international media is that they were at some point a little bit of enemies. They were enemies. They had uh, different uh, political ideologies, mm. you know, um, but their relationship for me starts, you know, dates back to when he was when my father died. Yeah. And granted, in, in the letter that he wrote to different people around that time, a letter that he writes to Shen a demonstrates, at least to me, the depth of their relationship. Because he's the one person he poured his heart out to of what the loss of the dead meant to him. So I wouldn't really say they were enemies. They had different Mm. And I mean, you know, looking at uh, the Nelson Mandela Foundation's uh, a statement when Ushenga passed away over uh, the weekend last week, it does explain exactly what you're saying. And I just want to uh, read that snippet for you, uh, Mam Dileka. They said that, uh, uh, you know, the two leaders came to embody an understanding of reconciliation which had no need for forgiveness nor of forgetting the past nor even learning to like each other. It was simply about determining or uh, determining to get along together. And that's why we saw that national, um, uh, that, that nas the government of national unity. That's really true. I mean, you know, uh, Grandad came from a, 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 a specter of saying that you be deeper with people ideologically, but you can have mutual respect. That was not only relegated And you know, you you talk about uh, the the fact that uh, your grandfather, and, and as you uh, call him uh, affectionately as uh, its granddad, um, you know, you say that in the letter that you read that he wrote to U U Ushenge, uh, that's where you saw that in fact that's where he became more emotional and outpoured the the fact that he had lost his son in an accident. Your father, that is, couldn't even go to his funeral because he was imprisoned at the time. Uh, so you know, this is these are one of the things that uh, Shenge used to actually uh, show off about that uh, him and Dada used to write uh, to each other quite a lot even though people outside of the politics used to think that he was grandstanding during the time that your grandfather was in prison no he wasn't grandstanding at all I mean it, it, I, there's, a, there's, there's a quotation I remember in that letter where Grandad says you know the news was delivered to me in the afternoon as I was sitting in the dock and the veins that have been flowing through, the blood that has been flowing through my veins for the last 42 years seem to have been frozen into ice. It is the only letter that I know of that I read of all the people that Grandad wrote to around the time of my of my granddad because that letter is dated July, July around July 18th or 19th. It's the only letter that I know that where Grandad throws out his heart to another. Mm. That was shit. And, you know, Mam Dilega, for me, there are similarities, although not uh, not exactly the same, because, uh, of course, when Uta Dumatiba passed away, uh, there was an outpouring of love at that point from uh, many corners of the entire globe, right? Uh, and then... Uh, when it came to uh, Prince Mangosutu Telezi, there's a slight difference because people uh, are, um, you know, he, his legacy is, is, is contended by a lot of people, especially in the South African context. And I just want to talk to you about that. Uh, you know, a lot of people would say, firstly, it's un-African to speak ill of the dead. But also there was a point when your grandfather, by some, uh, would call, they, some would call him, uh, uh, you know, a sellout, saying that he sold out during negotiations, etc. And now you're seeing the Rutelezi family uh, basically going through the same in terms of the contention around his legacy and his contribution to the freedom of this country. 
But all I can say is that, you know, his legacy was a complex legacy. Mm. And the the tendency of humanity is is when they judge a person after he's gone, after they gone is when they look at the tapestry of his life, they tend to pick up the blemish and not pick up the other the other um, quality that he had. I was listening earlier on in the, this week when on radio when Umam Nusifuna was talking about the shame. He he was emphasizing of how. He taught them self-discipline in Parliament. He was a disciplinarian. He taught them that discipline in Parliament. So that also should count for something. And yes, justifiably, there are people that are angry of what happened prior to our democratic dispensation. And they are justified to that end. And, and they, what you also point out is that people mustn't speak ill of the dead. Well, you know, all, all I can say to each to remember their father, their grandfather, their uncle, whatever, with the qualities that they hold dear to their lives. They, they, as you point, correctly point out, despite any, everything that Granddad does, did mm. people, there are in some quarters, there are some people that view him as a sellout. And my rebuttal to that is that when people cannot deal with their own shortcomings, they tend to point fingers at other people. My mother had a saying, if you point out to another person, you can't remember. So these are the people that lived in a different era, mm. and they did what they could with the tools that were, 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 were afforded to them. What are we to do with the tools that we could pass? There's also a tendency of South Africans of doing life, looking at the landscape of, of the Red Mirror. There's a reason why the windscreen is bigger than the Red Mirror. It is because the windscreen, you need to look forward at the bigger picture. The Red Mirror teaches you that never forget what happened in the past. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Mam Dilega, for speaking to us. Dilega Mandela, the granddaughter to Dadu Nelson Mandela. And some of the differences, as I, I bring it back to you, Bradan and JJ, you, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, some of the differences, as Mam Dilega said, between the two leaders, that's Prince Mangosutu Telezi and uh, Nelson Mandela, is that uh, Prince Mangosutu Telezi led his party for 45 years, whereas Nelson Mandela uh, was able to move away from leading the party and the country at some point and just let the reins be taken over by those who were younger than him back then.